I will start introduce、um, Mr. Kirby to everyone, and、uh, I will、um, bring you guys to the blackboard and、uh, show you where the sit-up bus is. And、uh, because this is the, literally the first、um, online class, so I think it's it's worthwhile to spend a little bit of time to get you familiar with the user interface and all the different resources and all the learning materials. As well as your logistics, you will need to take care of. So we had the, really had the, the opportunity and the honor, I would say, the pleasure to have、uh, Mr. Andy Kirby, who is our vice president of McCarthy Building Companies, to teach this class for us. And Andy has been involved in design building. I mean, I don't even know when did you first start, but it's been a long time. And as all、yeah. of you understand,、uh, the design. Build class. We use the curriculum materials directly from the Design Build Institute of America, and、uh, Andy is heavily involved in DBIA as well. And as a matter of fact,、uh, didn't you actually receive a service award last year, Andy? I did. I was the、uh, Volunteer of the Year award for the Western Pacific region for、uh, DBIA. Exactly. So that, that's what I'm saying. Like you know, by the time I know, I could know that Andy agreed to teach this class to our students. I think they just this is going to be an awesome opportunity for you guys to get to know the industry and to interact directly with one of the you know industry leaders directly. So I feel really excited to、uh, for for all our students.、Um, so I, Andy, why don't you just、uh, maybe introduce yourself for four minutes and、uh, talk about. You know your professional experience, and、uh, maybe talk about your、um, anticipations to this class, as well as you know what kind of you know、uh, learning outcomes do you see from this class, etc. Sure. All right. Well, well, thank you first of all for the introduction, Dr. Wu. Appreciate it, and Dr. Wu is going to help us、uh, through the the semester. As he mentioned,、um, uh, this is an online class, and so he taught this last、uh, last year at the same time. So he's going to kind of help me through the semester and make sure I. Don't say anything wrong. I think、uh, do everything right.、Um, so with that, so I appreciate.、It. Um, so he'll be around to help out just on a, a, a I guess, advisor role.、Um, so my background is、uh, I went to the Naval Academy、uh, with a systems engineer degree.、Um, went into the Navy and started in construction in the Navy, and、uh, that's where I met actually、uh, Professor Hyatt was in the Navy.、Uh, we both worked together for a little bit, and then、um, uh, did about eight years active duty doing construction around the world. Um, and then got off active duty, went to the reserves, and started working for the private side,、uh, working for a general contractor down in San Diego.、Um, did some、uh, commercial construction as well as federal construction、um, throughout the country,、uh, and then、uh, transitioned to CW Driver, which is where I started doing some of the、um, some consulting uh, to um, Fresno State, just doing some guest lecturing,、um, and then I've recently transitioned over to McCarthy Building Company, and.、Um, I'm the vice president of operations for、um, the Bay Area for McCarthy,、um, so I can oversee about、uh, eight projects right now in the Bay Area,、um, totaling close to、uh, right about a billion dollars.、Um, we got quite a few projects going on right now,、um, so quite busy doing that. But、uh, yeah, I'm excited that、uh, a lot of them are design build, which is、uh, I started in the design build industry、uh, down in San Diego in about 2008,、um, starting to get involved there at the chapter level. And then、uh, when I moved up to Northern California about five years ago, got involved in the chapter up here. And then just recently,、uh, as of January first, I'm on the board of directors for the Western Pacific Region for DBIA, as well as、uh, run the Bay Area chapter. So if you're interested in anything、uh, DBIA, not to mention the course itself, but、uh, design build in general,、uh, feel free to reach out to me、uh, outside class hours or, or just send me an email.、Um, definitely trying to to bring back design build to,、uh, to the schools and. Make sure that best practices are shared. So that's the intent of this、uh, course. I've, I've taken this course、uh, a couple of years ago,、um, so I'll be able to pass along some lessons learned from there.、Um, so anything that、uh, you have any questions about, I've kind of gone through the, the material, and I'd like to at least impress upon you a, a lot of the things that I learned from is the delivery methods、um, that are in design builds, understanding the difference, the contract methods, and then actually how to manage your design build、um, contracts. So the, I think the outcomes are that you have a, a good general knowledge for the construction industry of design build, how to manage it, what it looks like, and the different contract types. Any questions on that, or anything that、uh, in my background, anything? Anyone have any questions? 
Guys, any questions? Okay. All right. I think that's a great uh, introduction. And um, what I really um, expect is actually, you know, when you bring that industry experience and the industry insights into this curriculum, it's going to help us in the longer term in terms of how students can transfer knowledge from classroom into the professional practices and um, and we also as you know that in our program internship is mandatory so a lot of times you know students actually really don't want to get any chance to practice what they learn from the classroom until the moment they hit on you know the ground and actually start to do internship for company but where the experts come into classroom i think all students will be better prepared uh, you know for their uh, internship or maybe permanent employment in the future. So that's why, why I definitely see great value there to have, you know, um, in, uh, industry instructors in our classes. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, something really, really simple. I just want to make sure that everyone understand how this course will actually maybe how an online course will be delivered and how it, this is actually different from the regular in classroom meetings, etc. So when we say online class, there really is there are actually variations, right? You will see um, some faculty member or some professors already have put a lot of material online. You have to review materials online. And then in classroom, you may conduct some discussions and do some activities. So that's really a, about a blended, we call that blended, right, class. Um, but in this case, we are 100% online, which means we do not have a classroom, we do not have a fixed time to meet in person either. So everything will be 100% online. However, for online, fully online classes, we also have two different formats. We can do it in a very silent way, which means there's no active, you know, synchronous uh, contact between the instructor and the students, like what we were, we're doing now. It's all based upon, you know, just emails and uh, discussing, discussion forums and uh, learning management systems such as Blackboard. So what we um, believe in is, for 100% complete online um, class, it actually makes a lot of sense to have some active contact hours between the students and the instructor, um, such as using Zoom to do those office hours and you know um, some um, discussions and also some introduction review sessions for major assignments such as tests as a case study. So that's the plan is through the semester, we will actually organize a few more Zoom live sessions and we're trying to discuss, you know, burning questions and critical assignments, tasks and projects. And also there was a chance for you to ask some questions directly to the instructor and, uh, you know, all the other students may have same questions, we actually get the answer. So that's the goal behind it. And we will try our best to record every session as well. So when we will finish you know, the session, we'll, uh, we're actually gonna post the publish the video online. So the students who actually did not get the chance to participate will still have the chance to review the videos to get to know what's going on there. So, and, and the Zoom is actually a very um, powerful tool, I would say. It's very easy to use and has a lot of good functionality. So in this case, what I'm going to do now is actually bring you to Blackboard. So I will actually go ahead and share my screen. Um, that way you can see my screen. Okay. So as you see just here, note, uh, go ahead. Dr. Wood, just as a note, we'll try not to have these at three or four o'clock on a Friday. We just want to do that to get things kicked off for the uh, semester. So I just want to be clear about that. Right, right, exactly. So most of the time, we, when we actually schedule a meeting, we would like to schedule a, me a time that the majority of the class will be available. So yeah, today is a special case, um, and we're just trying to get started because there are some concerns or questions in regard to how exactly, when exactly this class is going to be you know, kicking off. So that's the reason we scheduled the meeting today at this time. Okay, so can everyone actually see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. So when you actually log into Blackboard and uh, you probably will see something like, you know, CM101T, Design Build Project Delivery Spring 2018. And if you click on that, you'll probably see the first thing you see is announcements. Usually announcements will be really important messages that instructor, uh, you know, um, think it's actually worthwhile disseminating among the student population. And later on, you can um, kind of quickly glance at those announcements to see if there's any relevant activities such as, you know, projects and site visits and 
Yeah, you know, uh, maybe Andy went through some conferences he, he attended and he brought back some information that is going to be valuable to our students. Or maybe there is a change of schedule, et cetera. So announcements is something you need to always pay attention to. So I want you to get started, you know, to actually click on start here for this course because this will give you an overview about what this course is for and what specific goals we wanted to accomplish for this course. And uh, I had a little cartoon, whatever it created there. It's kind of interesting. But one thing I do want you to get started actually working on is, as you see at the bottom of the screen here, you have a link to the graded learning discussion. Um, introduce yourself here. So if you click on that, what you're gonna do is, we're gonna create a thread to introduce yourself. For instance, you click on that and just say, I'm going to introduce myself um, as a discussion. And I'll put my name here and I'll talk about a little bit about myself. So that way, it is a chance for you to say hi to your classmates and uh, you will actually see who those people are in this class, et cetera. So, very quick couple of sentences and uh, just you can talk anything literally about you know what's your background where you're from and what you're you know interested in and what's major you're in because we do have some students i'm not a construction manager major i actually took this class uh, taking this class so something like that um one thing i have to remind you however because this is going to be a graded discussion so we do have some requirements so the requirements specifically is actually first you have to post it yourself for about yourself and who you are. And also, I'm actually requiring you, the instructor will require you to uh, review at least the two other classmates' posts and actually respond to their posts. So you might find this is actually kind of, you know, interesting, but the goal is trying to make sure that you are actively participate in this conversation, not just, you know, post something and, you know, walk right away from it, okay? so. Uh, I will change the deadlines. Of, of course, it's not going to be due today. I, you know, most likely, it's going to be due next Wednesday-ish. So you have some time to post your, you know, your own threads and also comment or respond to other uh, classmates' um, threads. So I'll just leave it here the way it is. And then let's go back to the second thing I want you to look at is actually really the syllabus. The syllabus actually will give you an overview about what exactly this course is for, how it is actually organized, and what other things you need to you know, pay attention to. So actually, I have a syllabus put out already. And uh, the first page is the information of the instructor and uh, some general items about you know, this course, this department. OK, so I put um, Ms. Kirby's contact information here. And uh, Andy, is this the email you prefer to receive emails from the students? Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. my personal email, so that's probably the best one, yes. Okay, great. So, but you guys have to understand, you know, because like uh, Andy mentioned, he is currently overseeing eight projects there. So the answer, the response for your emails may not be as immediate as you would expect. So please allow about two business days for him, for him to actually turn around and actually respond to your emails, okay? And if you have some, emerging questions and uh, uh, you know you you need an immediate answer I would recommend you go to Robin's office or actually contact me and we'll try our best to answer your questions okay so screen down is uh, scroll down is pretty much standardized um, you know information you introduce the course itself and what it is and then we'll talk about some of the uh, course materials as again I want to emphasize because all the learning materials in this course are from DBIA, so it's actually official uh, curriculum material that everyone, including the industry professionals, are using. So you guys are using the most cutting edge, most state-of-the-art materials. And there are some other books, if you are really interested in design build, uh, that we would recommend to read are those two books we actually listed here, okay? And um, some courses specifics such as the goals and the outlines and the learning outcomes, etc. Those please glance over them. But this is really part of the you know learning or actual design, pedagogy design that our instructor would like to pay more attention to. And we wanted to make sure when you actually finish this class, you will actually accomplish those learning outcomes. Okay? So keep scrolling down and you will see some other you know information about the 
um, the grading policy. So in, in this particular course, we have um, those different categories of items we want to um, grade on. So we're going to have course participation. The course participation actually include all the discussions on and any other participation-based uh, assignments. And you have about five quizzes to work on. And you have three case studies. And you also have three module tests. And one good thing, just to relieve you from a too much, you know, concern there is our test is going to be open book, okay? So there, there is also a synthesis research paper. We just wanted to, you know, test how much do you actually understand the material in this course. So we'll actually, we'll ask you to conduct a little research and uh, report it out. So it is a great opportunity for you to put all the knowledge into application, but also you actually we would like to see how good is your writing skill. So you will be surprised writing sometimes could be pretty tricky and uh, you know pretty difficult, but uh, however, and, and it could possibly give you, you know, the best testimony in terms of how important technical writing skills are for our professionals in the industry. So don't underestimate that, please, okay? So very standardized grading scheme here, okay? And uh, just for your information, again, because this course is sponsored by DBIA, if you pass all the course materials with 80% or better, you will receive three certificates from DBIA. With those certificates and some working experience, you will be eligible to sit in a DBIA associate's exam to earn your certification or actually credentials. So that's an extra bonus for, this, for taking this course, okay? So we're gonna you know, come back and talk a little bit more about that um, credential, how it works, et cetera, and what kind of value. Um, you know, in that in that regard, Andy can give you more information on that. Um, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm, let's keep going on. And uh, I did put a paragraph of, you know, email here because the major communication uh, media for us will be emails and discussion boards. And uh, I I understand. I when I actually over uh, going over uh, all the names here, I know I know you all, and I really a positive that everyone's gonna do a great job in terms of being, you know, uh, um, professional, et cetera. But I just wanna make sure that you understand a good email writing skills are still very important as well. So this is some, you know, recommendations. When you actually compose an email, you're trying to, you know, email uh, Andy or me about something. I want you to follow a certain format for two folds of reasons, right? First is you show your courtesy and you show your professionalism. Same thing, the second thing is actually, if you draft your email in this manner, it's easier for us to understand what your needs are because you have your subject, you have a very brief message, what questions you're asking and how do you expect us to help you, okay? Just for that reason. Um, although it's online, but we can still do some group work. Okay, because you guys can still meet face to face. It doesn't really uh, say that you cannot meet offline. Okay, and or if you just you know, you know, maybe get hold of me in my office. That's okay still. But there might be some group work you you can actually do uh, through the semester. In that case, when you actually do the work, uh, you know, group work, I want everyone to contribute, not just count on somebody or count on the other parties. Uh, please do your own. Due diligence and contribute. And uh, the professionalism and the dedicate, as I mentioned already, when you have online discussions, or sometimes the discussion could be really a debate. In that case, uh, you know, show your dedicate, which is your really the etiquette online. So be polite and be constructive when you actually make a criticism of somebody else's posts, etc. Okay. Um, I'm sure everyone's be just doing okay. Uh, Late work and makeup work policy. This is an online class, and my policy, uh, Andy, correct me if you, you know, if I'm wrong. But just for online class, I would not hold your hand and tell you that slow down. You know, you you have to wait everyone else before you move on. I would encourage you 
to you know establish your own pace and how fast you want to move forward. But I do still want to establish some deadlines so that way you would not procrastinate because sometimes it gets busy and you forgot about things and then you realize you haven't done much at all in this course. So that's gonna be you know that's gonna really jeopardize your grades in this class. So I will still set up deadlines for all the assignments, discussions, activities, et cetera. So please pay attention. And I will show you how those deadlines will be given, okay, in Blackboard as well in just a minute, okay? And some other adding, dropping, um, you know, policies, et cetera, safety issues, plagiarism issues. Plagiarism is something we absolutely have zero tolerance. We'd rather you, you know, didn't do well, and then you we can actually uh, think about improving that by helping you out instead of plagiarizing. Uh, you everything you bring into your paper, your projects, if you cited some references, whatever, please give credits to the original author. Okay, um, because this is online and there's no uh, closed book test. I don't really see there's any cheating um, possibilities there, but just make sure that you do your home individual. Um, homework and uh, even you are doing a uh, group work still be you know um, doing your due diligence etc um, so some other stuff here we want to bring you all the way down to the last piece which is actually the schedule the schedule um, I would say the schedule will be really um, more like a study plan for you to navigate through this online class and it is actually kind of important so make sure whenever you have a question in regard to deadlines and some project assignments and tasks you can always come back here and uh, so that way you can establish your own plan of study and see how you can distribute your time right um, the, the the beauty of online class is you don't necessarily always have to have the same time fixed within the week to do those things you can always be flexible if you have some big uh, projects in other courses you may be doing this course during the weekends as long as you catch a deadline. So, which is nice to our students, especially if you are commuting, okay? So, here has a very detailed layout of our course uh, learning materials as well as activities, et cetera. So, in our course, we have three core courses and one research paper. So, four major tasks. And the, through the process, we'll add some quizzes, some discussions, and some case studies. And for your test, okay, we are not going to uh, spend too much time on the test itself, but we do want to provide you some uh, study guides. And we also want to, at least for the first test, we're gonna walk you through what you need to prepare in order to pass the test with a good uh, grade, okay? So that's something we want to talk about. And when we come towards the end of the semester, when we actually talk about the research paper, we will have another Zoom live session to, you know, to uh, sort of like, you know, um, mentor you how you should choose a topic that you will be interested in researching and how a research paper will be actually written. And there are some skills you have to learn about and there are some other issues I want to mention in terms of um, research. Um, conducting research in this class, okay? And um, we do not really have any um, final exam, but we do have a final research paper report out. We want everyone, okay? Most likely, this is a pretty small class. Uh, we probably will have uh, an opportunity for you to co-write a paper because sometimes working as a group, as a small group, can learn from each other. So that's most likely the format, but I'll leave that open to Andy, whatever way you want to organize it. Um, then we need to report out. You, you can present your research results, outcomes to the class, and we can also offer you some constructive um, you know, criticisms or actually critiques, so that way you truly learn something from this course. So that's for the syllabus. Any questions so far for the syllabus? Actually, yeah, I do have a question on the syllabus. Professor sure. Mm -hmm. I noticed there's uh, something due, I think, uh, February the 7th. Uh, for those people going to Reno, is that mm -hmm. still going to be due or um, what's going to happen there? Um, the Industry Experts Lecture Series video is assigned on that day, but it's not due that day. So you still have time to work on that afterwards. Okay? Great. Okay. Any other questions? Um, I 
a quick question, Dr. Wu. Mm -hmm. uh, it was about that introduce yourself on mm -hmm. Blackboard. Uh, right. Is that going to be made available tonight? Because it says resource unavailable for us. The discussion? Yeah, it says it's unavailable on our side if you okay. click on it. Okay. So that's probably because I'm looking at a faculty view yeah. and you're looking at a different view there. That's probably what it yeah. is. Okay. I was just wondering if it's going to be open like tonight or when we could expect that to be available. And I can actually make it work now. Okay. Yeah, I can change that Thank to you. next Wednesday and by midnight so that way you at least get some more time to work on it. Dr. Lee, you want to change that to 2018 on there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Uh, yep. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, no problem. We're, we're working on trying to get all the dates updated. It's been a transition from Dr. Wu to me, so it's uh, okay. kind of my fault not getting everything updated. So just have a little patience with me. And, and if, if uh, until we get the dates kind of updated, don't worry about, I wouldn't say procrastinate, but if you miss a day here and there, I'm okay with it. We'll get it uh, scheduled out and we'll get things running smoothly sooner or later. Yep. Okay. So, Monet, if you could refresh your browser and see if that becomes available to you now. Yes, it is available now. Okay, great. Thank so, you. you're welcome. Uh, let's come back. Let's come back to the uh, Blackboard. So, what I trying to do for the user interface here is, I put a couple of different areas in Blackboard. The first part at the very top of the screen, you see all those info, introductional information. Then the key part of this course is actually here for the DBI core curriculum. So you will see we have one, two, three loading modules. This one is optional. You can review it, but we're not going to teach that module because uh, neither Andy or I were actually qualified to teach that session. DBIA has been really, really serious about that part because this is supposed to be teached by a licensed attorney who had a construction law background. Okay, so we're not going to touch upon that one, but you can definitely review the material. They're very good material. And the last part will be actually the research article we're going to talk about. So let me show you how does it look like to work on those learning modules on, you know, by yourself, and then we can discuss how to keep on track of things. So every time you come into a learning module, you will always see this structure, right? The very top is actually the overview about this particular learning module. For instance, learning module number one is overview of fundamentals of project delivery. And those bullet, word, bullet items here are the topics, list topics we're gonna touch upon. And then what we want to um, instruct you on is actually provide this guidance about how should you proceed with this learning module. So you will have those individual items, okay, which will be reflected here at the bottom. So let's say we, we treat this class as a task-based class. So every learning module will be go, you know, review a material and gradually complete those tasks one by one with their individual deadlines, okay? So for instance, it says here, task one, please review the lecture notes. If we click on that, okay, I actually split it, the big slides into different parts there. Reason being for that is, the whole, the complete slides is actually very, very big. It could be 180 slides, 100, you know, 90 slides, etc. So soon you will feel like I'm really bored. I actually now I'm feel really sleepy. So what we did is actually split those big slides into four portions, and for each portion you might have some, you know, activities. For instance, you had a pop-up quiz, okay, and you may have some reference materials in this case as well. Etc. So that way you can keep yourself engaged. In the meantime, you don't have to worry about, you know, you'll feel like bored, etc. So by finishing watching those slides, then you might have some other extra reading materials I would like you to take a look. So you can go there and take a look at that. And sometimes I do have another quiz or sometimes have some questions you can discuss, etc. Then you will have the quiz and every time we have something that will be graded, you will have a deadline assigned with it. 
For instance, the quiz number one will be due by 11:59, literally midnight of January 24th. Then you have quiz two, which will be due January 29th. So that way, you always keep track of your deadlines. Okay. And then we had a great discussion. This will link back to the discussion forum. It's the same exact way. You will be required first to conduct your own discussion. Then you're required to respond to two other classmates' posts to offer your suggestions or constructive, you know, critics, etc. Then we're going to do a case study. A case study is a very important、um, part of this class. Because case study gives you a chance to actually apply what you learned, the fundamental principles and the theories, trying to apply that in a real project context, and see if you can actually conduct analysis and draw conclusions and write a short report out. So we will actually have a session, a Zoom live session, to discuss the case study, how you should conduct case studies, and we even offered some samples from previous semesters, how the students did for their case study. Okay, so that should keep you always, you know, informed. Then, move up, move down, and you will see the industry experts lecture series, lecture one. So, you know, like I said, you know, what a coincidence. Our first industry series lecture is actually conducted by Andy. That well, that was actually、uh, three years ago, probably. Yeah, I think yeah, three years ago. Yeah, so it's very interesting. So here we go. So Andy's here, the course instructor. But this is a video we recorded, okay? And you can watch them, and、uh, it's great.、Uh, it's a great quality video. And、uh, for the video, I want you to review the video and do a little bit of reflection. What takes? What are some of the takeaways、uh, you're gonna get from this video? So nothing major, but just write a few notes. Jot down a few notes that you think are most important takeaways from that video, and then submit it through the Google form. I'll need to actually update this as well, so I'll do that a little.、Um, and I will be grading this one more difficultly than the other ones.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>、um, so then I will say, a last piece will be the actual test. Okay. So the test again is not going to be a closed book test. It's going to be an open book test, and、uh, in order to facilitate your test preparation, I even did this, provided you guys a PDF document,、uh, something called a test one study guide, and it's almost like a cheat sheet, right? So I said, when、well, before you take the test, you need to go through the study guide. Okay, why is that? Because I said. Okay, you need to go to slide seven and look at the three core processes that the project delivery process framework focuses on. So, what does that tell you? That tells you there will be a question on that, right? So, if you go through the study guide, you literally know where to find information to complete the test. Okay, so hopefully that will help you out when you prepare for your test, and the test is. Most likely a 50 question type of online quizzes, okay, and、uh, you have about two hours to complete the test, okay. Then that summarizes that actually wraps up the first learning module, and、uh, this structure and this way of organization of learning modules will be universal across the whole curriculum. So you expect the same thing for the second learning module, for instance, principles of design build, same exact structure and、uh, similar funds, etc. Okay, so the fourth,、uh, the third one, and、uh, the poster word. Okay, and、uh, that's really what it is.、Um, as you see here, some of times I had those links here because. I actually put all the quizzes, case studies, and tests in a centralized place, and put them under course assessment. So you, if you go to quizzes, you will find all the quizzes here.、Uh, most of the quizzes actually are based upon lecture notes, and sometimes could be based upon some extra reading. So you will find the extra reading material here as well. Okay. Then case studies. For all the case studies, we have corresponding materials and handouts. You will need to review. You know to complete the case study and the tests. All the tests are listed here with deadlines specified, and for all the tests, you will also have a study guide 
and you will have the test itself. You also have the slides attached here as a whole. Okay, and um, that's the core curriculum. And all the videos I was referring to in the first learning module, we actually had a total of five DVDs generated when the first time we offered this class. And those people are all industry leaders. So I will try to reuse those DVDs as much as I can because I think they are really, really valuable. So when you actually uh, had a link to watch those videos, and every time you watch this video, you're really supposed to provide some reflection there. Okay, so those are the videos. Then the last part, which is the DBIA Design Build Menu of Practice, those are actually for your future reference. Uh, it is provided by DBIA. They are free to all DBIA student chapter students there, and uh, it's a great reference book for both students and professionals. So even you don't really use this menu that much in this course. However, when you walk out of the you know classroom when you actually participate in industry and you happen to get involved in design build projects, this will always be a good reference book to, to look at. So that's a reference book you can always come back and uh, you know uh, read. So that's the layout of this course. Hopefully it's clear now for you to feel now a little bit relieved in terms of online class. Um, DBI, this class is literally on our first and only online class so far. So I'm expecting, uh, you know, there are some slow startups, but take your time. Really, I mean, for the first couple of weeks, I think we have the luxury to actually take our time, getting started slow and make sure everybody understands, you know, how it is organized, how it will be delivered. And especially, I think the most important thing here is communication. Communication between the students and the instructor, communication between among you guys, okay? So any questions so far? Do you guys feel comfortable? Do you guys feel like a little bit more, you know, clarified about this course and what to expect? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Andy, anything to add? No, I just want to, you know, like I mentioned earlier, um, we'll try to get some of the dates updated so that you guys aren't looking and, and be able to schedule things out. Um, it'll probably be very similar to the way we ran it last year uh, that Dr. Wu ran it. Uh, we're just trying to make some tweaks and improve it a little bit every year, a uh, lean process. But uh, other than that, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me and I'll try to answer you as quickly as possible. Great. So before I let you guys go, um, please do me a favor and get started with your discussions and also starting, you know, play around with the blackboard and click all the links. If you see there's a failed link uh, or there are some deadlines didn't set up correctly and you won't have access to, uh, let me or Andy know as soon as you can so that way we actually clean up this, the blackboard so you can actually have no issues using them. Okay? Okay. Okay. Great. Um, I really, that's all I have. I, I don't think I have anything else. And uh, do you guys have any questions? No? Hearing none? No. Okay, great. So, uh, Andy, do you have any other comments or Nothing any? else. Okay. No, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully I can pass on some good uh, industry knowledge. Great. We're looking forward to that, definitely. All right. Well, we will let you know, uh, guys, we'll let you know that if Andy and I decided uh, when we're going to have our second Zoom live session, and uh, we'll actually most likely send you guys a link uh, through announcements, and uh, um, then we can discuss a little bit more information that is specific to the learning modules. Okay? Okay. Okay. Great. Well, thank you everyone for attending and I will post the video link as soon as I can and uh, wish you guys all a great semester. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.